Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest update. This is for today, Tuesday until Saturday, May 20 to 23, 2025. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And let's begin with our update. It looks like the uh, thunderstorm activity continues to prevail across the uh, southern portions of the country. There are some over the uh, western sections of Luzon, particularly Cordillera and Ilocos region, and also along the uh, Zambales Mountains. But so far, this is day-to-day -day, uh, situation. There are, there are days that there are no thunderstorms. As well as other parts of Luzon, including Bicol, we are experiencing some hot days ahead. But somewhat, there are still some isolated showers and thunderstorms expected through the weekend. And uh, this week, we have uh, strong thunderstorms affecting Mindanao, Visayas, and uh, Palawan. Outside of Pau, we have a uh, developing intertropical convergence zone over the Marshall Islands, eastern Micronesia, into the central portions of Micronesia as well. And we have two tropical waves here. The one is uh, in the vicinity of Palau, and it's moving towards Mindanao. So we expect day-to-day -day, uh, uh, thunderstorm activity throughout the week and through the weekend. So watch out for lightning strikes and possible flooding when we have severe thunderstorms occurring in your respective areas. Up to the north of the country, we have the... Uh, frontal system or stationary major front this is springtime frontal system which uh, moves all the way for all along the uh, corridor of east china into mainland uh, china into uh, vietnam and this will bring thunderstorms across these areas okay and uh, we still don't have any uh, development when it comes to low pressure systems and uh, uh, tropical uh, cyclones during the next five days. And here's the uh, latest fast animation. And you can clearly see here some thunderstorm activity and the possibility of a uh, surface trough or a tropical wave forming here over the West Philippine Sea in the vicinity of the Spratly Kalayan Island Group. And uh, here is the former uh, surface trough, which is beginning to... Uh, weekend or dissipate as it moves towards Mindanao. So in the afternoon or evening, expect thunderstorms to prevail within the next uh, five to seven days across Mindanao, which is very common during neutral conditions over that island. The third, uh, the yeah, the uh, one of the largest islands of the uh, Philippines. And uh, here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. And uh, you can clearly see here some animated uh, lightning strikes over the West Philippine Sea in response to the uh, developing uh, surface trough. And uh, here over the Silua Cup Velago, there's also some thunderstorms developing as it moves towards eastern Palawan and as well as over eastern Mindanao and eastern Visayas. Later uh, this afternoon to the evening, Expect more thunderstorms to develop over Mindanao due to uh, intense uh, evaporation and uh, high temperatures. Okay. While over Luzon, we also expect some isolated thunderstorms to develop in various parts of northern and central Luzon during uh, late this afternoon through the evening. And during the last shot of this animation, you can clearly see here some thunderstorm developing over Ilocos Norte. Okay, and here's the latest uh, rain forecast for the next five days. This will be until Sunday, May 25th. So by tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday, western sections of Luzon will be expecting some isolated thunderstorms. 
becoming more widespread over Mindanao and parts of southern Visayas, Palawan as well. Uh, isolated areas of uh, northern and western Bicol will also be expecting some showers, but nothing uh, intense than that. Thursday afternoon, again, the bulk of the thunderstorms are focused over central Visayas, eastern Visayas, as well as Mindanao, and there might be some isolated thunderstorms as well over metropolitan Manila, uh, parts of central and southern Luzon. And on Friday afternoon, this uh, thunderstorm activity will uh, spread across the west of the Visayas, as well as uh, some parts of the Bicol region and western Luzon. This Saturday, thunderstorm activity will still continue in the afternoon or evening across Mindanao, Visayas, Occidental Mindoro, Northern Samar, Bicol region, but these are smaller areas, okay? not all, and these are weak to moderate thunderstorms only, and also across the southern Tagalog provinces, including Metro Manila and portions of Santa Luzon, will be expecting isolated thunderstorms. And on Sunday, May 25th, thunderstorm activity will be much, much intense over Mindoro, northern uh, Palawan, including the uh, Kalamayan group, and also western parts of western Visayas, Metro Manila, Calabar Zone, Camarines Norte, and uh, Ilocos region, particularly over the mountains of Ilocos provinces. In other parts of the Bicol region, Camarines Sur will have a 50% chance of a thunderstorm during Sunday. So that's the effects of the hot dry season. But uh, based on the uh, latest uh, wind forecast for the next five days, it will remain easterly to southeasterly to Sunday with calm conditions over the uh, mountainous uh, central areas of uh, the country. And uh, this is based on the European model. And as we move into the last few days of June, you can clearly see here that the wind direction over the West Philippine Sea will now be blowing from the south and southwest. So this is a sign that the uh, southwest monsoon is uh, approaching. And this is now the first blast of what we call as the southwesterly wind flow or a very light habagat, if we uh, say it in Tagalog. So that will be the situation during the last few days of May into the early days of June 2025. But there's no yet tropical cyclone formation. This is mainly due to the enhancement by the frontal system or the major front over East China. That's why we are now having some southwesterly wind flow and the uh, orientation or the formation of strong um, high-pressure areas here over the uh, South Indian Ocean, South Pacific. So we could see some changes in the wind direction as we move into the wet season. So the southwest monsoon is uh, approaching. Okay. So that's the uh, European model. If we take a look. On the American model, it says here, same situation until Sunday, May 25. But on Monday, May 26, there might be a low-pressure system that could become a tropical depression forming over the coastal uh, areas of eastern Vietnam, as you can see here. Okay, and this will uh, track towards the north on May 27, 28. As a tropical storm, 29, it will curve towards the northeast in response to a frontal system here, pulling this tropical cyclone towards the northeast into the Strait of Taiwan during the last days of May. And then it will uh, move into western Taiwan during Friday, May 30th. And then it will be absorbed by this frontal system here. So we have a uh, southwesterly uh, monsoonal flow 
of the Western Philippines includes uh, that includes Palawan, Canayan Island Group, Western Luzon, including Metro Manila. So that will be May 30, 31, June 1, June 2 to June 3. But again, this forecast is more than seven days. So uh, forecast of more than seven days remains highly uncertain with less than 25% probability. As you can see, if we look at the European model, it doesn't show anything. Okay, the European model is not showing any uh, low pressure or tropical cyclone developing over the West Philippine Sea, just the usual uh, seasonal southwesterly wind flow during the last few days of May into the first few days of June. So uh, it's still up in the air. We don't know if this will come through. But rest assured, if there's, there's nothing on the European model side, we are not worried about it. Okay? But we are going to monitor that. So, uh, uh, rest assured, for the next uh, seven days, it will be fine across the country with some thunderstorms developing in the afternoon or evening across western Luzon, Palawan, Visayas, parts of Bicol, parts of Metro Manila, southern Tagalog provinces, Calabarzon, and also Mindanao, particularly over Mindanao, it will be uh, common to have these localized thunderstorms. For the wave forecast, nothing to show you here. Until Sunday, the wave heights over the East Philippine Sea will be almost 1 meter in wave height, light waves here. And then over the Central Philippine Sea, uh, the central waters of our country, it will become to almost uh, half a meter in wave heights, but not reaching half a meter on a point 0.3 meter. While over the West Philippine Sea, it will remain uh, the same as of the, the east uh, side, okay? So this will be around half a meter to one meter in wave height. So very nice for fishing and sea travel. Now let's take a look at the latest uh, MJO, modern junior oscillation. Right now we have a wet, wet face, but it's a weaker type of wet face affecting the maritime continent of uh, the Middle East and uh, Africa area. And it might uh, reach uh, the uh, southern areas of the country, like Mindanao, um, during the last few days of uh, May into the first uh, five days of June. Because this forecast is until uh, June 2. So there might be some thunderstorm activity increasing over Mindanao, Visayas, and Palawan during the last few days and early uh, last few days of May and early uh, days of uh, June. Okay, so uh, still no uh, TC development based on the uh, majority of the computer models. As for the uh, El Nino La Nina diagnostic discussion, this is the latest one as of May 8. We are now into neutral condition, so there's no El Nino, there's no La Nina. We are on a normal uh, climate right now, and this will continue throughout the uh, second to third quarter of 2025, 74% during uh, June to August, with chances of uh, 50, more or less 50% through August to October 2025. So that's uh, neutral conditions. Okay, here's the uh, um, table of uh, ENSO probabilities issued this May. So right now we are hitting almost 100% neutral condition and as we move into September it will go down to 50% and November, December down to 45% neutral and uh, the uh, La Nina it looks like it's coming back but it will remain uh, highly uncertain yet. Okay. You can see it here it's both of the Europe the uh, I mean both of the uh, neutral and uh, La Nina signals are showing below 50% probability as well as the El Nino pattern so most likely it will remain at neutral conditions throughout 2025 okay and for the uh, Columbia Climate School International Research Institute, uh, same uh, scenario for the mid-May. This is the latest one for mid-May. 
and it looks here same uh, uh, forecast it will remain neutral or near La Nina by November December but we still don't know but uh, we will wait for the very latest for the next uh, three to six months okay so there you go that's the latest and uh, we will return this coming weekend for another update from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying good day to all. Have a great week. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.